All right, Katie, is this it? Stick it and out I, farther. Like this? Spread them. Sp like this? <laughs> how, 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 do, how do I accentuate my gluteus for the gram? Like this? Do I pucker out? Do I look back? Am I looking back at look it? Back how about this? Hold on, do I bite my lip? <laughs> is, there, is that sexy? That looks sexy. Okay, ready? Snap the picture. Ready? Uh, snap. Like this video, subscribe to this channel, and click on the link in the description box below to sign up for the Tiger Fitness Newsletter. Within a week of publishing this video, we will give out a $50 gift card to TigerFitness.com to one lucky person who does all of these steps. Boom! What's up everyone? Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com, CEO, MTS Nutrition. I have three children, all of whom are on or will be on social media. Social media is something that I take close to heart because while well, I'm on there a lot, there's a lot of mean things, a lot of good things, a lot of good, a lot of bad. And what we want to do is take the good and the bad and try to maximize the good and minimize the bad. So here's the thing. There's a lot of things going on on, uh, on the gram, all right? On all social media, Photoshop, filters, all right? People getting enhancements. Um, utilizing angles to make their butts look bigger, utilizing filters, it's absolutely insane. People don't just post pictures anymore. They have to post the perfect picture to display themselves in the perfect light. A study has actually been done by the United Kingdom's Royal Society for Public Health, analyzing nearly 1,500 people between the ages of, 15, of 14 and 24. What they found, Instagram negatively affected sleep quality, bullying, body image, and set unrealistic expectations leading to body image issues and low self-worth. Now here's the thing, all I'm asking you to do, I'm not saying get rid of the gram, I'm saying we need to see it for what it is and maybe cut back on it. Now in our industry, we've seen a lot. One is that low life Devin Physique, who got caught not only photoshopping, but photoshopping the hell out of himself. And even coining the term, I believe uh, Louis Marco coined this, of Adobe Gains. So the thing is, you see a lot of people, you see a lot of women even getting butt implants so they can look better on the gram. Or women simply doing as I did in that funny skit at the intro, taking pictures with weird angles, put their butt out angling their entire body. So here's a quote one study participant said, Instagram easily makes girls and women feel as if their bodies aren't good enough as people add filters and edit their pictures in order for them to look perfect. Um, so here's the thing, in a world of fake and enhanced pictures, it can leave normal people feeling inadequate. So my whole thing is, what can be done? Well, one is the Royal uh, Society is asking for media, as in Instagram, to have pop-ups that say, hey, you know, avoid excessive use. This could mess up your mind. I think that's silly. It's kind of like the cigarette card box saying, warning, this might kill you. People still smoke. However, 71% of the study participants actually thought this was cool, that it's a good thing. So the Royal Society hopes to empower young adults to social networks in a way that protects their health and well-being. So what do we do as parents? We, or what do we do as people, individuals using social media? We use it for the good part. We promote it for the positivity, for being with friends, for developing community, and for being inspired. You follow the right people. Now, on a personal note, lately I've been seeing some people who are allegedly lifting fake weights. So what did we do? I called somebody out. Of course they're not gonna show up. And now we're putting on the greatest um, event ever for, well, veterans in the fitness industry. I'm looking to raise over $50,000 for Semper Fi Fund, something called Real Weights, okay, for real heroes. That'll be put on August 19th at Power Station Gym in Middletown, Ohio. Now, I will put this link below the Facebook event page, just check it out, but there can be good from this. So aside from that plug, I would like to say that Instagram does set unrealistic expectations. I think that it puts people in a positive light and a lot of people who are Insta famous are also Insta hoes. Who are gonna do whatever it takes to get a click. They will take shot after shot after shot after shot to make sure that they have the perfect picture. What Instagram is is a fantasy world. It's a world where you're only showing the positive things that happen in your life. If you were to put all of the good events in your life 
and put them on one page, it would look pretty freaking good, like you have a perfect life, right? Well, that's social media for you. It is essentially a collection of perfect things to happen in someone's life. And you take someone who's, well, probably above average, and you put them on Instagram, you take out all the bad stuff, you're gonna have a pretty epic looking um, feed. So don't compare yourself to others, be your own best you, and don't follow or don't worship false prophets on the gram. I'm Mark Lobliner, tigerfitness.com. Click on the link below, enjoy the article, let us know your thoughts by commenting in the comment section at tigerfitness.com on that article, and that's not a game.